Assalamu alaikum, Adam and Bilal. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now, can I ask you my next question? Yes, that's why I'm back. What's the question? My cousin told me that men inherit twice as much money as the women do. Is that true? Yes, it's true. Really? That's injustice, isn't it? How is that fair and equal? Wow, that's a tough one to defend. That seems like a clear case of injustice. Shouldn't we be fair with the women? First of all, Adam and Bilal, you should always know that Allah is just. There is no one fairer or more just than Allah. He is the most just. Then why would he tell us to give the women less? Since you know that Allah is the most just, then it's important for you to learn, ask questions, or be patient until you find out. But never question Allah's justice or noble attributes. I'm sorry, Ahmed. Please explain to me. Okay, okay. Do you remember that I told you before that the women do not have to work? But if they do work, that all of the money is theirs, and they do not have to share it with their husbands or use it for any household expenses? Yes, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that too. Well, in the same way, when a woman gets her inheritance, she keeps all of it and does not have to spend it on her husband, children, and household expenses, nor give that money to anyone at all. It is completely hers to keep and to use the way that she wants to. But in, case, in the case of the man, he must spend his money, including his inheritance, on his wife, children, and household expenses. I see what you mean. So a woman keeps all of her inheritance money, and inheritance money of her husband comes to her and her children too, because he must spend what he has on them. Well, so in reality, the man gets less than what the woman gets because what he gets goes to his wife and children indirectly. But what the woman gets stays with her. That's right. That's right. That's right, Adam. Now you understand. Wow. I never thought of it that way. So, that is more than fair for the women. Yes, Allah is indeed the most wise and the most just. Do you have any more questions? I have time for another question before I leave. Yes. My cousin said that when women act as witnesses in court, Muslims replace one man with two women. He said that is because women are not considered as intelligent as men. Your cousin seems to know a lot about Islam. I'd love to see the results of you speaking to him after I answer all of these questions for you. Me too. We have to go back to the nature of the woman to understand the answer to this question. What is the nature of the woman? Women are emotional by nature, so you will find that most of the decisions are based on their emotions and how they feel. Oh yes, that's true. From a physical standpoint, if a man is always sick and losing blood, his memory will be weak. It is a documented fact that blood deficiency affects memory, and women have blood deficiencies every month. So the answer to your question is connected to the natural monthly health conditions of most women and their emotional nature. It is not their fault. It is the way that the God of mankind made her. This helps her to overlook the logical reactions to bad treatment from her husband or children and gravitate towards love, caring, mercy, and forgiveness. Oh, so that makes sense. Yes. In Islam, Guarding the truth in court is very important. So making sure that there are no errors is important. That is why there will be two or three witnesses for contracts. Physically, it is impossible 
for certain things to occur without doing it a certain way. Because it is possible that a woman has a good memory, but to be sure that she has not forgotten nor acted on emotion, there are two women as witnesses. Oh, so it is only as a precautionary measure to make sure that the witnessing is correct, that they have one man and two women or two men. That's right. It's just a matter of keeping emotions and forgetfulness out of the situation. If a woman was considered less intelligent than a man or to always have a bad memory, the wife of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may the peace of Allah, Allah be upon him, the mother of the believers, Aisha, would not have been allowed to teach the Muslim men. She taught the Muslim men hadiths of the Prophet and his sunnah. Do you know that she narrated more than 2,000 hadiths of the Prophet Muhammad? Wow, I never knew that. Whoa! So don't let people lie to you about our view of women in Islam. Okay. Balao, can you sing that song you sang before about women are special? Sure. Women are so special in Islam. A woman is the mother of every man. If you read Quran, you understand. Protection of the woman is Allah's plan and responsibility of every man. I love that song. Thanks, Adam. And I love singing it. Do you have any more questions, Adam? Yes. But I'll wait until tomorrow to ask you. I've asked you a lot of questions today, and I learned a lot. Thanks. You're welcome. Alhamdulillah. I'll see you tomorrow, inshallah. Inshallah? Yes, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.